Hi, so in this video, I'm going to show you how you can actually import your subform data in Zoho CRM. This was one of the most demanding feature in Zoho CRM, which is now available and uh, you can actually use it. So most of the people had this question, how exactly we can import the data of the subforms in our Zoho CRM modules. Okay, so in this uh, video, I'm going to show you how I can actually import the subform data for our company module or you can say accounts module so in this test i have basically created a subform in our accounts module and uh, i'm going to show you for example this company if i scroll down this is the subform and currently it has only one data i mean one entry okay so let's go to the accounts again and i'm gonna import the subform entries so if you have a subform available in your uh, module layout then you will be able to see the subform name so here you can see import shareholders so shareholders is the name of my sub uh, subform so i'm going to click on it import shareholders and then you can first of all download your sample file which is actually important and then you need to fill out your subform entries data so i have already created a file over here you see here the parent id so parent id is basically the id of the record uh where exactly this subform entry has to be saved okay so you can see here the parent id account name and then these fields these fields are basically the subform entries okay and one more field is here, shareholders ID. So this one is actually the subform entry ID. Okay, as of now, I didn't add any entry ID. So I'm just gonna go ahead without any entry ID because my intention is to add more data instead of updating the existing data. So if you want to update the existing data of the subform, then you will need the shareholders ID. Okay, but in my case, I don't need it. So I'm gonna go ahead with this. So let's go and upload this file so i'm gonna drag this file over here and let's click on next so we basically have to add the new stake uh, new shareholders so if you want to select here you can select but in our case it's not required so none is okay let's go over here you have to select some important thing the first thing which is very important it's parent id so make sure you are selecting your account id as your parent id okay and then map other details like uh, account number but i don't think it's required so you can just cancel it but the most important things are you have to map your subform fields correctly so i have already mapped which is actually automatically mapped based on the same names as on the crm or in the file that's why it's already mapped let's go ahead and uh, click on yes continue and here is the schedule i mean the import has been scheduled once the import is completed you will receive a message over here So you can see this imported status is successful. So if I'm gonna open this one again, I am sure I will see one more entry. Okay, so we can see multiple entries here, right? And the reason is for this particular record, we had added three entries, you see here? So that's why we can now see four entries over here. This one is the old one and the rest three, these are the new ones. And same way, if we check on others, this one should have two entries because one was already there and another one is here, right? So this is how it's gonna, it's gonna be working and you can just use it as I displayed in this video. So thank you for watching, goodbye.